Well, hello there. Yeah, I wasn't going to make any video today, but I got to reading, paying attention. I got to researching a few things. I got to thinking about the Civil War. And, you know, I got all upset when everybody was uh, uh, getting rid of the culture of all the people that were involved in the Civil War. Southerners. Oh, not the Northerners. Northerners, they were wonderful, great people. Yeah. Why, they were just the finest people in the world. They even come up with that song, uh, Battle Hymn of the Republic. <coughs> yeah. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. Well, you know, there's all a bunch of that uh, running bull splatter hitting the road in this this whole thing. I don't care. Now you need to let's go back there and look at that John Brown fella. Now that John Brown fella, he was a religious fanatic, and he was gonna steal arms from the armory. That's what was begun doing after he'd raised all kinds of heck. He was going to steal arms from the uh, military, the army's armory, and he was going to give them to the black folks that were slaves, and he was going to start a revolution against the United States of America. Yeah, now, see? That was one of the keystones. Now, you go through there, and you get to looking real close. Now, them Southerners, everybody makes jokes out of them hillbillies and them uh, rednecks and everything that come out there. Well, you know, some of those crackers, they call some of them boys. There are some of those things, crackers, redneck, hillbillies, stuff like that. Actually, a good part of them names came from Europe, where the immigrants came from that settled in those areas. They were poor. They didn't have nothing a lot of them. They were the slums out of London and everything else. And that's where them names and nicknames actually came from. They didn't start up most of them in the South. Call a southern boy a cracker? Well, that was somebody, his real ancestors, and that probably came from England. Brought that name with him. You know, there's that redneck. That's another one. Go look it up. I don't care whether you believe a darn thing I ever said. I could care less. You see these videos of mine? Like I've told you, I'm a religious fella and I'm a sinner. Okay, now. I don't like to put out too much religious stuff. I just don't want to push my religion on anybody. If they're curious, they can ask. But you see, in my trying to repent of the sins I've had in my lifetime, I figure maybe if I could put a little peace, put a little uh, love out there, an idea of things, put a little truth, uh, say a few things that might get people thinking about the devil and the evil that's out there. You know, now that's, that's, so it's between me and God, and it's for my own purpose that I do this. So I really don't care whether you believe me or not. But, as I was saying, that civil war, if you look at it, it was a class war. With Religious fanatical overtones. Yeah, because actually the Southerners always called it the War of Northern Aggression. And they were right, because they had cotton, they had all kinds of commodities and stuff. And England and France and places, they'd come over to the, United, to the Americas and they'd pay top dollar for that stuff. They all needed it for their uh, 
stuff in, over in Europe and at home, and they could sell it too, make a profit. Well, the Northerners, them people that was getting all industrialized, that was building all that fancy equipment, was making them the looms and everything to uh, make all that cotton into cloth and everything. And, well, they just didn't want to pay top dollar. And they thought because the South was there, they were supposed to sell it to the North cheap. Uh, and then they were supposed to, the South was supposed to pay top dollar for the stuff they bought from the North. Uh, no. I see. But Europe, they'd make good deals with the Southerners. They'd sell the cloth. They'd sell the things they made in the foundries and stuff over in Europe to the Southerners at a decent price. The Southerners would get good money for their commodities. Really going good. But the North didn't like that. The businessmen of the North. Okay, so they kept pushing, 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 pushing. And if you read that congressional stuff and that, it's all a rat race. And they got into there and so South got tired of being pushed. And they told them to clear out. They were building a fort in Sumter. And they told them, hey, get out of that fort. Quit building it. We ain't selling you that land to build a fort on. The only reason you're building it is to be able to overlook Charleston Harbor and control the shipping that's coming in now. They hadn't even put the guns in there, so the Northerners hurried and put some guns in there out of another fort that was close by. And did everything. Well, the Southerners, no, you ain't going to do that. You ain't taking over now. So they fired on Fort Sumter. Gee, there it went. Now you go and there was a war going on. The Southerners, Robert E. Lee was asked to lead the Northern Army and go down and put down that insurrection in the South. Robert E. Lee says, well, sir, I'm a, I'm a Virginian. I won't lead an army through my country to go to that country down there and terrorize people. So he didn't take it. Well, that war went on for a year and a half or so. Wasn't doing too good. Now, them religious fanatics back there, they always had this abolition in mind. Well, they wouldn't let their men join the army and go fight the South. No, you don't join up, you don't go. And then, when the North was getting their tails kicked, they went and blackmailed that guy named uh, Abraham Lincoln. Hey, you sign uh, this abolition deal, you outlaw it with a stroke of your pen, and we'll have our men sign up. So Abraham Lincoln was blackmailed into signing up that abolition. Emancipation Proclamation. Well, that's where it went. So then, the Northerners, all them people out of the Ohio, out of all them other Northern states that were religious fanatics about abolition, joined the fight. Then the South didn't have near enough people. See, you now the South was totally fighting for liberty, for states' rights, and liberty. Go read the history books. Go listen to the music that they, the songs they made for the war and everything. All about states' rights and liberty, basically. Slavery wasn't their big deal. No, that was some rich guys had them big plantations. Uh, some rich black guys had big plantations or farms that they had slaves on. <laughs> Check it out, read it. So anyway, I got a little irritated this morning, and I decided I'd talk about that. Now, think about it. All the things that were destroyed. Robert E. Lee was a good man, but his statues were torn down because he was a slaver. All this kind of stuff. Uh, guess what? That uh, class warfare... 
Ain't that what's going on in Ukraine? Didn't that go on in Afghanistan? Didn't that go on in my war, Vietnam? Didn't that go on over there in that Iraq? Oh, think about it. What's the difference between good and evil? Think about that. Well, I ask God to bless all of you, and you might have a beautiful day. I'll see you again.